Hi there, I'm Ashlyn with Fixed VIT, and welcome back to our series, Everything You Need to Know About SharePoint. Today we're going to learn how to access SharePoint through the web, how to find and follow a site, how to find the documents library in SharePoint, and how to bookmark that documents library. If you're looking for a specific section of this tutorial, you can find it by hovering over that progress bar below and selecting the section you need. And with that, let's get started. To begin, we're going to walk through how to log in. Okay, so first we're going to open our web browser and go to portal.office365.com. Now there are a lot of different ways you can access the SharePoint site, but this is the easiest for me. Now you'll see the login page. Type in your Office 365 or Microsoft login credentials and click sign in. It takes me a moment because I have multi-factor authentication set up, which you should too. You should now see a screen that says stay signed in. This option gives you the opportunity to save time when you need to access SharePoint in the future. It will keep you signed into your Office 365 account on this device only, as long as you don't clear your browser history. It's super convenient, especially if you'll be using SharePoint in your browser frequently. Once you've logged in, you will now see the Office 365 launch pad. This is where all of your Office 365 web applications will be. You'll notice the most common web apps like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and OneDrive. You can click the box icon at the top of this section and it'll expand it. So now it shows more info on your apps and recently opened documents. Let's click on SharePoint and jump right into it. Here you will see frequent sites and suggested sites if they are available. On the left, it shows any sites you're following plus recent sites you've visited. Now is probably a great time for me to explain what sites are in SharePoint. You might be familiar with OneDrive, which is where you can save your personal documents in cloud storage. Your OneDrive is for your documents only, so your pictures, your files, and things that only really you need to access. Although, it does get tricky because you can technically share these files with other people. However, it is really not made for multiple people to utilize at once, it's really just made for you, for one person. And that's where SharePoint comes in. As the name suggests, it's a single point where everyone can share documents together. It's specifically designed for sharing, and that's where the sites come in. Sites are used to separate your shared content into groups. For instance, your company could have an HR site, a marketing site, an accounting site, and so on and so forth. Your business needs are unique though, so your SharePoint sites can be organized in whatever way that makes the most sense for your team. Let's hop right into it and find our first SharePoint site. Okay, we'll start at the homepage and look for the toolbar at the top of the screen. Let's say I want to find the RevGen site I have access to. We'll type RevGen in the search bar and already some results are showing up, awesome. SharePoint separates these results into sites, files, and people. Okay, we will click the RevGen site, which takes us to the homepage of the site. A helpful way to stay organized within SharePoint sites is to follow sites. To follow a site, click the star icon in the upper right hand corner of the applicable site box. Once you follow a site, it will pin itself to the following section to the left of the screen. Now, every time you go into SharePoint, it'll be easily accessible. To access a SharePoint documents library, head over to the site you'd like to access. Your homepage will look something like this. In the left-hand column, you will see different sections of this SharePoint. We're going to select Documents in this section, and it will give us access to all of the documents in this SharePoint. It's worth noting that you can have multiple document libraries in one site. And feel free to rename this section and organize your documents to whatever fits your company's needs best. Now, let's get ready to bookmark this library. First, we need to show the bookmarks bar. To do that, press Shift Command B on a Mac or Control Shift B on Windows. Now, there's a couple ways to bookmark this library. First, you can simply drag the URL to the bookmarks bar like so, which creates a shortcut, or you can press Command D on Mac or Control D 
on Windows or the star in the upper right hand corner, any of these options will add the URL to the bookmarks bar. Now if we want to organize our bar a little bit, we can also create folders in it. Right click anywhere on the bookmarks bar and select add a folder. Now we'll see this big pop up where we can organize until our heart's content. And that's all I have for you in this section. Now you should be able to access SharePoint through the web, find and follow a site, find the documents library, and bookmark that documents library. Check out our SharePoint playlist for other tutorials, and if you still have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team here at Fixed VIET. Thanks for watching.